Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Woodruff and welcome to the Fort Report. Well, it's that time of year again. A crisp newness in the air, trees and plants just beginning to stir, and birds and animals are out and active. And if you want to get in on the spring act, then you need to head to the Grove at the Botanic Garden for the annual spring plant sale. It's a wonderful time for people to buy all sorts of plants that we offer here at the garden. We'll be selling annuals, perennials, ornamental grasses, uh, plants for shade, We'll have citrus trees, we'll have some fruit trees, some small fruits, uh, and then in addition, we will have a number of plant societies here selling their own plants, such as the African Violet Society, the Rose Society, uh, the Iris and Daylily Society. Uh, they will have lots of plants to choose from as well. You may not be able to find some of these plants at the local nurseries. On uh, Tuesday, April 2nd, we have a preview class in the classroom of our conservation greenhouse. That's the greenhouse on the I-30 access road between University Drive and Montgomery, and at that preview class, they can learn about the plants that we will sell at the plant sale. The preview class is $15, but that fee is applied toward any purchases at the plant sale. On April 4th, that's Thursday before the general plant sale, we have a pre-sale, and that's for members of the Botanical Society. Uh, but anybody can come and get a membership that evening and save 10% on their purchases. The annual spring plant sale is April 6th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Steve encourages you to get there early for the best selection. For more information, just visit fwbg.org. In North Texas, air pollution season runs from March 1st through October 31st. The EPA classifies a 10-county region of North Texas as being in non-attainment for the pollutant ozone, formed mainly from a chemical reaction involving sunlight, heat, and auto industrial emissions. The City of Fort Worth is contracted with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, the TCEQ, to operate and maintain a number of these continuous air monitoring stations throughout the region. In the 10 county region, there are 20 to 25 monitoring stations. The city is doing its share to help out TCEQ. There are six continuous air monitoring stations in Tarrant County that the city operates for TCEQ. The air quality index is a daily report of the air quality levels, and they use like a numerical and color-coded scale. Each color indicates how polluted the air is and how to protect your health. An air pollution watch is issued by the TCEQ if, uh, if the ozone levels are anticipated to meet or exceed certain targeted levels. People need to be aware that ozone levels are elevated and there could be some health issues. A warning is issued if the ozone levels actually exceed the target levels. They issue an air pollution warning to alert residents that the air quality is unacceptable. You can learn more about air quality at airnorthtexas.org. You can sign up for air pollution alerts, check the AQI, get tips and strategies for individuals and businesses, learn about commuting options, and make a commitment to cleaner air this season. Here's a look at other events happening in and around Fort Worth in the next few weeks. For a listing of more events and city meetings, you can always check the calendar at the city's website.